Hey everybody, Radaman here. Thanks for tuning in to Frost and Fire. So we left off with a rather large mech raid coming in. So I'm going to devise a way for me to deal with this. Uh, here's what I want to do. Bash is going to go for the Antigrain Warhead. Uh, Raptor is going to go for Gorilla Wool stuff. Hippie, Gabe, and JD are going to move to the front. So, some issues. One, um, I don't have a lot of uranium. So, what that means is that a lot of my slug turrets are going to run out of ammunition during this fight. Uh, two, I have no idea what kind of mechs are attacking me, so I'm having Bash get the Antigrain Warhead as a contingency. And I'll probably use it in ID form. Because I don't trust mortars really at all. So there are 32 mechs coming at me. And... Uh, there was some home zoning that I needed to do. Oh, yeah, here it is. Uh, another thing I wanted to do is to turn on all of the heaters in my base. Because it is getting pretty cold. And to roof off my trade zone. I know they don't seem like all that important, but uh, they are. All right, so JD, you're in front. He is going to try to run an EMP... Um, way out in front. Hippie and Gabe are going to do the same thing. But with these EMPs, they're going to set them up. Um, one here and one here. Knowing that, yes, my um, frontline turrets will be stunned, but these EMPs do not reach the back turrets, so they will be able to be fired. Uh, so Gabe and Hippie... All right, Bash is still moving towards the uh, Antigrain. Raptor is switching his clothing because despite having heating chambers here for my shooters, it's just still going to be too cold. I can tell you that right now. And they're Scythers. They're all Scythers. That is really, really, really unfortunate. Scythers are... Um, are really strong against turrets. All the more reason to use my Antigrain. So I'm gonna have the Antigrain be built indoors for heat reasons and then moved outdoors. All right, JD, once you're done, rearm turrets. So here they come. Why is there, there should be 32. There's 32 slag. Oh, here's, yeah, one's over there. All right. Sorry, I'm laying into my pause button. Just sort of needs to happen while I'm setting everything up. So as you can see, these EMPs do not knock out my back turrets so they can free fire. That's important. Uh, I, I didn't want to put the EMP so far forward that my turrets wouldn't be able to fire because Things need to be stunned within the range of my auto turrets for maximum effect. Hippie here is high on smoke leaf because of her divorce. Bash, now that I have the anti-grainer, haul it out here. So here's these EMPs are now set. I'm going to turn off auto rearm because I don't want to rearm them. Uh, Hippie, just get into position. Gabe will rearm both. Here they come. Now Bash is going to carry this as far as he can while remaining safe. Raptor, you should come out here. And we have a blight of... <laughs> Seriously, random, you just can go kill yourself. You were the worst. 
the absolute legendarily worst. All right, he's not going to bring it able to bring it out as far as I wanted to. I'm going to go for here then. There it is. Uh, his shield belt just absorbed something. And now, everyone choke up. There. All right, let's not get so close that the slugs can hit us. These slugs are out. That anti grain rocked those scythers. That was definitely the correct strategy. Otherwise, I'd be looking at replacing a ridiculous amount of turrets. Good job, everyone. All right. Some important things to note here. I'm not going to be able to do that a whole lot more, right? I only had the one anti-grain. But that was a pretty good use of that anti-grain, I gotta say. Uh, I will need to replace some walls and do a whole lot of repairs. So what I'm going to be doing here is uh, forcing Tukes. And then uh, the deep drill's going to need to be put over here. And then uh, I'm also going to need to put a heater over there as well. So the two enforcement is so that we don't freeze while, while trying to repair and replace things. And... Bash before you go to bed. Hall. Uh, Gabe. Gabe is going to be emergency plant cut. And I'm going to put him on a schedule of work. So that he doesn't try to go back to sleep. Until this is cut. Okay, so it's cut. We're good. Now we can uh, let him sleep. Stupid plagues. All right, turn the heater on. It just needs to be, it doesn't need to be warm, just warm enough that Gabe can work in here without, you know, hypothermia. Uh, the dead mix, I'm going to turn off the machining table. We will be recycling them. I don't think I lost a single uh, turret. Came real close, but we managed to keep all our turrets. And that's 28 of the corpses are left. Oh my goodness, what a, f what a fight. Uh, another thing that would be useful is if um, Bash or uh, Raptor had um, more Psy Focus for Berserks for the future. So I'm going to have him work on getting his Psy Focus up to 93.8% so that I can use Berserk uh, as in terms of emergencies more often. You know, that, that should be helpful. So we don't have an anti-grain anymore, um, but we do have a Doomsday Launcher if we need it. So that's useful to note. I'm also gonna wanna fill in the bug area. There's no risk of infestations 
during the uh, during the winter though. All right, so Bash is out here replacing cables. A psychic soothe will help get the work done, and we'll also have walls and well, a lot of stuff to replace. Uh, my hospital is not going to be warm enough. Yeah, it's, it's pretty chilly in there. Trying to get all the heaters on, though. And we are indeed running low on nutrient paste meals. Uh, that's why I have all this rice happening. So that's another thing to keep an eye on. So here we go. Walls for the kill box. Without these walls, uh, you know, we are... Not very well protected. And then Gabe, once you're done farming, should be deep drilling. Um, so that we have more uranium for the slug turrets, because we nearly ran out. Words of inspiration, let's drop that on uh, Bash, wherever he is. Now, it's a bit of a risk, because I'm using up a lot of my Psy Focus. Um, where, what? Okay. Can you guys stop fighting one another? Inspire Taming? Lame. <laughs> There's a bunch of uh, comatose blood spiders out here. But yeah, now I have to build up the Psy Focus all over again, which put, makes me a little vulnerable. But given that I just had a big attack, I don't think we're going to have another one anytime soon. Again, could be wrong about that, but it is a risk. Alright, so now we have a, a heated hospital. Um, all right, so more walls are needed. I think that's probably what he's working on next. Oops. Let me just fill these in. Now, there's no risk of an infestation uh, in this temperature. It's just too cold for it to be a valid infestation point, but I'll fill it in anyway for later. All right, Gabe's done sewing. I think he should be able to go... Deep drill in a second. Oh no, he has a little bit more sewing to do. And he's sleeping. So this northern wall needs to be replaced. The anti-grain saw to that destruction. But I did manage to anti-grain in such a location that uh, my turrets survived, which is good. Because they would be a lot more expensive to re replace. I don't know why the coronet is there. So we are deep drilling. It's only negative net 40 in here, which is fine given his clothing. So Bash is first going to build the walls and then it's going to be repairing. So I would rather repair the turrets over the, uh, over the walls. That's those are the ones that really need repair, and now I'll just let him pick his own. Uh, my animals can start, or at least the the ones that are resistant to cold can start helping me haul. That's been true for a while, and I just didn't set that up, so that's on me. It's my 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 mistake. That raid would have been really good to have the aerodrome salvo. Which is another good reason to gain some more honor, so I can have more than one salvo ready. If I need to drop two. Or, alternatively, have another royal. Because it would be very easy to turn Hippie's room into another royal room. But she already has Neuroformers, so she wouldn't really need it. Um... Alright, JD, that will be your last advanced component. I do want to get uh, Bionica Eyes. Oh, wait. What? Okay, I didn't know that. The slug turret 
clipped JD and shot his leg out. And I had no idea about his missing leg until just now. Uh, let me check everybody else for injuries. Yeah, he was the only injury. Dang, I didn't even notice. Well, I, I mean, I guess I eventually did. So, credit where credit is due. Eventually noticed. Alright, Gabe, Gabe is uh, having to tend to the farm a lot. Which is why I'm not getting a lot of mining done. There's not much to do about that, though. Just someone has to, you know, tend the farm. Phoenix will be back. We loaned him out, but he'll eventually be back uh, to help out in that regard. Or in that capacity, I should say. So here is the bionic leg for JD. I'm going to have him complete it and we'll install it before he goes to sleep. So operation, right leg, real meds. Daryl environment, skilled doctor, warm, no drug conditions, no problem. Raptor got inspired trade. It's too bad I'm not going to be able to call in a trade caravan this season because it's just too cold. Uh, Raptor can go back to his royal apparel because he stays inside mostly. Everybody else is going to keep their helmets off uh, for fear of, of freezing. Oh, we got maybe a quest. Oh, no. It's a mech cluster. Another toxic spewer. Ah, oh, Randy, you're so toxic. All right, well, let's analyze. We do have some unstable power cells. Uh, what I'm going to do is have everyone stay fortified. But I will change the Stay Fortified Zone to allow them to clean up this area. And then animals are going to be restricted. But I will add in this space so that they can help haul. And this space. And this space. So Countdown Activator, two and a half days. A Toxic Spewer. I, uh... A mech assembler for centipedes, which is pretty dangerous. A count, uh, mech drop beacons. So they have a bunch of, uh, unstable power cells, which I could trigger. And hope that they chain explode. Now this one won't chain. They don't really chain to one another. So this might be mortarable, but if it... It's a low shield, but not a high shield. So it is mortable. Mortarable. I'm going to suspend advanced components uh, in lieu of making shells. Uh, so for shells, we are going to need some additional chem fuel. And I'm going to make it out of rice. There's also the possibility of, uh, because this mech cluster exists right where the entry to my base is, uh, there's an argument to be made, leave it, let them toxic spew, let them make centipedes, it will protect me from reapers. I actually might go that approach. Cache of supplies for Persona Core. 11 turrets and two skeletons. Dang, that's a weird, uh, a weird defense force. If I've ever seen one. Uh, so Gabe, I've set everyone to stay fortified. Okay, this is included. Good. Yeah, I might just I might just leave it, honestly. A masterwork marble sculpture. You wanna keep that one for yourself? Uh 
All right, another thing I'm gonna do is um, the large sculptures, I'm gonna restrict to just marble now. Wow, I have 199, that's troll. One shy of enough for one more sculpture. So I, I guess I could do one small or something. Now, given that we have um, mechs close by, uh, one thing that would be good is for me to haul the uranium and start reloading my slug turrets. Because, you know, there's a high likelihood that I have to deal with that soon. Even if they're not active or on or whatever. I could try to drop another inspiration. Let's do it. Another inspired team. Also very lame. Now, interestingly, there is no centipedes here. So I don't know what's going to be called in in the mech drop, but or what's in these mech capsules, but no centipedes exist as a starting combatant to that fight, which I find interesting. Yeah, Gabe is, um, he's not mining because I'm having to do so much farming. Uh, a part of me feels like I should, uh, I should restrict him and force him to, to mine over farming and leave the crops to rot or whatever. Ooh, Bash is, uh, getting some wool here. That's a hundred. So that's enough for another parka and took. How many shells have we made? So we've made a few shells, but, but not, not nearly as many as I would like. So Glitch's wool will be harvestable soon as well. Uh, we are about to have an egg baby. A little crab baby popping out. I'll just watch it. I don't think I've actually stared at anything hatch yet. Okay, it's not fascinating. <laughs> that's, that's all I can say. Uh, JD, what are you working at? Shredding mechs? Oh, there it is. Bye bye, baby crab. I'm a very, very, very bad rancher. I should haul that crab out before it gets chewed on and butcher it. All right, so I think I've decided just to let the. Um, let the mechs replicate and let it spew toxins and make centipedes. I think, I think as crazy as it sounds, it's not a terrible idea to have natural protection from reaper raids and just letting them exist will ultimately protect me from reaper raids because they'll turn on and then anyone coming into my kill box will get shot by the, uh, the enemies. by the mech cluster. That's a lot of meat. Now there's still some slug turrets that really haven't been rearmed much at all. And then there's a lot of shells that are missing because I think um, JD is busy shredding mechs. Which I, I could remove, well, we're done. I was gonna say I could remove the priority for it, but at this point it's, uh, it's all over. All right, so for the EMP shells, we are going to replace the EMP traps. So we use three of them. We make three of them. One, two, three. And then I'll be uninstalling them and, re and moving them to where they need to be.
All right, the restricted hauling should allow my pets to move the EMP uh, traps where they belong. And then we'll get 10 more EMP shells uh, just stockpiled. Oh my god, Cauterize, why are you in there? All right, you are going to be pets inside. I no longer really trust him to, you know, not kill himself because he fell asleep. Uh, that's a, also a good point. I don't need these on anymore. Save myself the power. So this will be active in just about a day, a little shy of a day, and then we'll start printing up centipedes. I think what I might do is turn over all of my rice benches to potatoes because potatoes are less bing from a buck on hydroponics, but they will require less input from my, um, from Gabe. You'll have more free time. So I might end up doing that. Because now JD is back to making um, clothing. Bash is rearming turrets. Slowly. Uh, whose wool was about to be harvestable? Okay, well, now we can make another set. So what kind of parka? We made a good parka, seems like. Yeah, I'll be I'll be turning these over to potatoes. Just to just to make it easier on, on Gabe, who's without Phoenix, it's been really tricky to keep up with the amount that I've needed. Colonist returns. Oh, speaking of which. Phoenix is back, and uh if that's the case, Gabe's gonna be set to priority mine. Phoenix will take care of the farms. I still may want to go over to potatoes anyway. I'll get less crop, but I'll have to work not as hard for it. Um, so that is something I might end up doing anyway. So the quest, the labor request is for goodwill. My goodwill with the uh, royals is still pretty terrible, though. Still in the negatives. It's not hostile, but still in the negatives, which makes me uncomfortable, I guess is the best way to put it. I'd like to have good rep. Uh, and then Phoenix, of course, you need a bedroom. There it is. We are down to 13 nutrient paste meals, noted. All right, so here's the argument. Potatoes here um, grow slower, but harvest more yield rice is faster with less yield so you have to replant rice more often than you have to replant potatoes which is why if i go potatoes i will get less food but it will cost less work um there's also the argument to be made of going um uh going for berries because you can actually eat raw berries just fine but i'm not going to be doing that i'll be going potatoes now Ideally, it would be corn. Okay, so yes, the one of the capsules or drop beacon had a centipede. All right. Uh, Phoenix is going to be restricted now that he's home. And the animals are going to be kept out of there. Now, Phoenix is mostly going to be tending the farm, so I don't think he needs a toque. Uh, 
Uh, the fine meals should allow eggs. I want to use up the eggs first because they are stack inefficient. But we're going to be back to cooking fine meals. My slug turrets are partially rearmed. If he's doing some cleaning for us. That was an excellent parka. Even better. And cargo pods from the north of Flake. Uh, I'll get the Flake. Alright, so the Tukes are done. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do is to make chem fuel. So let me turn on the biofuel refinery. In order to allow someone to start chem fueling, I guess hippie. So that we can make regular shells. Because we have all the EMP shells we wanted. Now we want uh, maybe 10 regular shells. And Hippie has an Inspired Trade, so we have two Inspired Trade, with no trade partners. Oh joy. Okay, Raptors using up the remaining, uh, eggs. That's a good amount of meat. Uh, my rep with machinists have declined, but that's natural, so that's not to be of concern. How many regular... Okay, only one regular duster so far. Dusters are one of those renewable resources um, that we can make a whole lot of for trade. And we're also doing yayo as well. I only have 36 yayo so far, but... I suspect we'll get some more soon. And down here, let's actually plant Psychoid for more Yayo. We're down to eight nutrient paste meals. So the other thing I'm going to want to do is to put corn in here and uh, queue up for a big thing of uh, nutrient paste NPM. An Eclipse! Joy. Actually, I take that back. I'm going to plant uh, rice. I know I keep changing my mind, but I I need more chem fuel, and we need to feed our pets. So, despite the cost of human labor, uh, I will accept that it will take extra time. So this will print up three more centipedes, so we'll have up to four centipedes, or five centipedes total. I mean, given that they're active and right next to the entry of my kill box, they're actually just defenders. I mean, they're defenders that spew toxins everywhere, but I wasn't, I don't really need to go many places anyway. So I guess I'm fine with that. Let's grab this from here. And did we get the... Yeah, we have not gotten the flake yet. All right, six meals left. Come on, someone get the NPM hauler. No suitable food? What do you mean? Oh, because I set it to corn. Yeah, that would be the case. <laughs> there we go. Alright, pets. I got you covered. And a Balkos Trader. Awesome. Um, Let's remove the roof over here and use some of our inspired trades. So in terms of bulk goods... 
I would like to set up an additional orbital beam, uh, orbital uh, trader here so that I can sell the Yayo. And someone should run for the flake. Uh, Gabe, you run for the flake. Because I can also sell beer. I have more beer than I need. All right, so once Gabe gets the flake, we'll do a big trade with the uh, bulk goods. Possibly buying... Oh, you know what? Another thing. Sell some art. Because I might need to buy some... Uh, uh, buy some gold... I haven't been finding it deep drill wise. An exotic goods trader. Oh, wow. Well, now those two trade inspirations I have will be quite useful. Oh, God. Raptor, get inside. Uh, let's turn on your research bench so you can research and not kill yourself by freezing. So, Gabe, you have the flake in hand? Yes. All of my art, not all of my art, but most of my art has been hauled in place. I'm leaving some of the art because um, some of it was gifted from an ally. Alright, so there we go. I think everything's been moved over. Let's trade. So, here's one of my trade inspirations. I will sell what? Uh, Flake and Yeo and a bunch of beer. The Bone Dog shirt. Now some of these, um, some of these dusters I could sell too because I have a lot of dusters. And they're in good condition. Same with the cowboy hats. Alright, they do have uh, 200 gold to buy. And because I unroofed this area, the trade got put where I wanted it. So that's one trade inspiration. Let's see. Trade price improvement. So let's go stats. Trade price improvement. Uh, Hippie with her inspiration is better than Raptor. By not a lot, but enough. Um, Berserk Pulse. An Insanity Lance. Some selling more statues. And I'm not going to buy the gold. Yep. I don't think I need any of those tech prints. They're not that important to me. All right. So that was some good trading. That was pretty lucky that they showed up the way they did. All right, uh, next person that goes for a meal makes the NPM. Someone was eating and I didn't have them. So we're down to four meals. All right, it's JD. And we have a raid of Reapers who are sappers. I don't know where they're landing though. Now 
we're landing here. Oh boy, that's a big raid. Um, I'm going to put some of these additional turrets up here to sort of dissuade sappers from sapping. I'm trying to think of other things that I was trying to do. So let's take a look. We have got, oh boy, we've got a lot. Some Heresy and Talon, Crash M, Hexner, Crimson Rust, Camassia Blue, One Who's Many, Zero Day. I'm a little worried that the sappers will not try to come through my sap trap. But I'm adding turrets up here um, to discourage them from going through the mountains. No, they're going around. Oh, this is not good. Um, uh, okay. I don't know if it's too late, but I'm going to try to move some turrets around to make the path that they are likely coming through less attractive. Because there's no point in having all of the mech cluster mechs uh, unless they actually take on raids. I'd want them to fight one another. All right, so Griffin looks like he's heading uh, here-ish. Uh, I'm going to need a little bit of a contingency, though. So who is free? Bash, you're free. You go man the mortar. Loading in HE shells. If they're going through ancient metal, that's going to take a while. And that's going to give me the opportunity to maybe drop some shells on them. Uh, looks like their set point is going to be up here, actually. Because these turrets apparently are not enough. Not enough of a deterrent. Oh boy. Raptor, get inside. Phoenix, help man a mortar too. I can't set target there. Uh, JD. You're going to go for the Doomsday Launcher. And this might be a little bit of a, a cliffhanger again. So thank Randy. Don't punish me. Luckily, this ancient metal is really thick stuff. But we're going to have to conclude this fight <laughs> next episode, guys. I am so very sorry. I wish it wasn't so, but it is. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. I hope I do have a bit of a fun episode for you uh, next time. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you next episode.
Farewell.